Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. If you're looking to boost glutathione and you're having trouble finding its primary precursor, N-acetylcysteine, these days, there are a few key nutrients you can take regularly to support your body's natural production of optimal glutathione. First, as a reminder, glutathione is our primary detoxifying antioxidant, which participates directly in the neutralization of harmful chemicals and substances while reducing oxidative damage and extending the life cycles of other antioxidants like vitamin C. Supplemental glutathione is available, but it's never been a very useful option as most of it is unfortunately burned up in our stomach acid, with virtually none reaching our bloodstream. L-cysteine is an amino acid that our liver produces, and it participates in muscle growth, metabolism, and even our body's production of the critical clot-busting compound heparin. However, like L-glutamine, L-cysteine is what we call a conditionally essential amino acid, meaning that while the body can produce it, any kind of excessive stress will greatly surpass our body's supply of available L-cysteine. While L-cysteine is the primary amino acid involved in glutathione production, two other amino acids, glycine and glutamate, which our bodies produce naturally in small amounts, are also necessary. Glycine is used for many things like muscle maintenance and relaxation, so it is helpful to take a glycine supplement and or regularly consume collagen, of which glycine comprises about 30%. Some specific B vitamins are also a part of this, as we specifically need vitamins B6, B12, and folate to complete the conversion of L-cysteine into glutathione. A coenzymated B vitamin complex taken two or three times each day would fulfill your body's need for these individual B vitamins. And you would definitely want to get a coenzymated B complex as this preparation would give you the most active and best absorbed forms of all the primary B vitamins. And while this is especially true for vegans and vegetarians, even for us meat eaters, we could still never consume enough dietary B vitamins from food alone to ensure optimal glutathione production. So supplementation is necessary. Regular intake of sulfur is also an essential part of optimal glutathione production. In fact, sulfur is so critical for glutathione that glutathione is nearly useless without it. While sulfur is found in many fruits and vegetables in small amounts, methyl sulfonyl methane, otherwise known as MSM, contains roughly 34% sulfur and is a much better and far easier way to obtain a significant amount of daily sulfur. MSM is already well known for its many benefits that range from relieving joint pain to supporting hair growth, increasing energy, and even acting as an antihistamine. A daily dose of 5 grams, which is usually about 1 teaspoon of MSM powder or 5 capsules, should be a sufficient basic dose, although you certainly could take more if you need to. As a supplement, you'll likely find L-cysteine in doses anywhere from 500 to 1,000 milligrams, and you'll really get the best results if you take L-cysteine two to three times each day, and every time you do, pair it with around 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C, which prevents the L-cysteine from oxidizing and potentially harming the kidneys. So keep these specific supplements and dosages in mind if you're having trouble finding N-acetylcysteine these days, and especially consider adopting this regimen daily along with vitamin D, magnesium, and the bioflavonoid quercetin if you're having any trouble breathing. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.